Steve, just quickly on this design, just a small revision. Opposite the dining room table on the boundary there, we definitely need to get something up to screen off that, um, that big tin house. So one of my ideas was to plant it out. Um, I've got a really nice, um, it's a limestone clad wall, and then I'm just gonna feature some, um, some pot plants in there. Now that could be something contemporary like what I've got there or a bit more traditional, but I was just playing around. Um, you did mention that you wanted to put a water feature in here. So the, the inside of this alfresco area does contain that water feature. Uh, this design, this component of the design hasn't changed too much. I've gotten rid of the garden bed that came out onto the lawn area and I've just tweaked the, the basketball court around so that it doesn't go over the easement, which means we don't have to get a permit to build over the easement. Next to the basketball court, you can see that, that tall timber wall. I've just put the, the clothesline out here uh, just to move it away from that tree from the neighbor, just to bring it out into the sun. And instead of putting vegetables in here, we can just do uh, a garden bed. If you want more paved space for, for other reasons, then fine, we can increase the, the paving. On the side of the garage, I wasn't sure what you want to do. I've just left that little triangle uh, open for the moment. You might actually want to cover that so we can build a shed or a, um, a lean-to to the side of the garage where we can get uh, bikes in there. Anyway, just updating you on the side of the house. So let me know what you think.